Good morning and welcome to the daily devotion from Stirling Baptist Church, where every day we are turning our focus toward God as members of our church bring us reflections on his goodness. For more information about Stirling Baptist Church, go to stirlingbaptist.org and you're welcome to get in touch with us through our Facebook page or by emailing us at admin at stirlingbaptist.co.uk. Hi, I'm Graham, Graham Oxborough. I'm married to Francis and we've been members of Stirling Baptist Church for 31 years, 32 years, maybe 33 years, uh, but that's quite a long time. Uh, we have three grown-up sons. Uh, I work as an accountant, uh, also known as a bean counter, and I'm very fortunate because the company I work for, uh, even in this time of coronavirus, we actually have a lot of beans that need counting, so that's good. Uh, as an accountant, there are two things that are essential to get you through your day, and the first one is this. Uh, it's a good uh, coffee mug, and it says on it, <laughs> old accountants never die, they just lose their balance. That's a very important thing to remember. And the second thing you need to get you through your day is a good notebook. Uh, you have it on your desk, you take it to meetings, and you can record all the important little things that, that happen during the accountant's day. Um, we'll come back to that. Two weeks ago, I, Wendy, our house group leader, asked us all to think about a psalm or a verse of a psalm that we wanted to share with the rest of the group. A verse that means a lot to us. I immediately knew the verse I wanted to share because there is a verse of a psalm that uh, when I first read it, it meant such a lot to me and it still means a lot to me. Bizarrely, I never remember which psalm and which verse it is, although I always remember the words of this verse. But fortunately, I always write down this verse on the very first page of my business notebook. Uh, when I finish one notebook, I start another one, and on the first page, I always write down this verse, and it's the only thing that goes on the first page. Well, let me read it to you, let me read it to you. And it is in fact Psalm 48 verse 14. And it says, For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide, even to the end. Now, as I was uh, thinking about how, how am I going to explain to the house group why this was uh, such an important and helpful verse to me. I thought, you know what, I better uh, read the verse again in the Bible and not just in my notebook. Now, I I use a, a Kindle Bible on my iPad and there's this very, very helpful wee feature that you can write a note, you can write notes uh, as you go. And if you write a note about a verse or something, uh, you get a wee blue square above the verse. And so I open my Kindle, I've got it here. I open my iPad for my, my Kindle uh, Bible. And I looked up Psalm, what is it, 48 verse 14. And there was a wee blue square above it. And I thought, oh, I wonder what I wrote. So I, uh, clicked in the blue square and read what I wrote and this is what I wrote. Hold on. I wrote. And it's dated 7th of May 2016. Now, before I read what I wrote, I need to give you a little bit of context because on the 31st of October 2015, that's about six months before I wrote this, and six months before I read this verse, I actually suffered a brain hemorrhage. Uh, 
not to be recommended, uh, but there you go. And I hadn't worked again since the 31st of October. And when I thought I was well enough to go back to work, uh, although it turns out I probably wasn't well enough, but anyway, that's another story. Uh, I went to work and the day I went back, uh, my employer explained to me that my services were no longer required. Okay, so, uh, so you get the picture. Uh, I've no job. I actually have no idea what I'm mentally capable of. Uh, and that's the honest truth. Bizarrely, I didn't know what I was capable of. So a fairly uncertain place to be. But this is what I wrote when I read this verse. 7th of May, 2016. On Friday last, my employment ended. But all we have is certainty. For this God is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even to the end. As I look at Stirling Castle, the picture, I think in today's Scripture Union reading, it is a picture of God's strength and our security. And I think you'll see why that verse means a great deal to me. Now, today, uh, with coronavirus, uh, there is a huge amount of uncertainty. Many, many people are anxious about the future. Many people are afraid about today. But this verse told me, and I hope will be telling you, that God is committed to us forever and ever even to the end, even to your end, even to my end. That gives us absolute certainty. So I have two questions for you. Uh, the first one is this. Are you worried about the future? Are you anxious about the future? Are you worried? Are you fearful about today? And my question is, why? Why are you anxious? And my second question is this. Is this God your God? And if he isn't, would you like him to be? In closing, you might be asking, so, Graham, how did things work out for you in the end? Well, that's another story to be told on another day. I hope you have a great day today.